Well, hi there. This part of my journey is all about uh, me and my ESD. Well, for people who know me from my travels of yesteryears, I've traveled around the world on a ESD, going around all the six continents, covering some miles that have literally been unconsumable to a normal person in today's travels. All that had happened due to uh, the timely support that I got from uh, the Ideal Java company and more specifically Mr. Bowman Irani, who is now an investor with Classic Legends, that's revived the brands of Java and ESD. More recently, the ESD was launched in 2022. And uh, when I had an opportunity to meet him sometime earlier, 2023, he casually asked me, which models of the ESD do you think you like? I told him, you know, the scrambler is too boyish to me. But the ESD adventure is something that will suit my personality and my taste for taking the roads less traveled. Well, take one. That's what Bowman said. And today I'm driving the ESD adventure to my heart school. This week has been a combination of battering the ESD adventure in terrains that it's been built for. Thanks to a good friend, Jews, J-U-Z. <laughs> He's got a story to that, but that's for another day. And his uh, reach of places normally impenetrable by normal tourists who come to the Scotland of our country. Well, I've tweaked it a bit from what I originally got on the 30th of June, 2023. Since then, I've been really refining and defining the machine to be as ruthless as possible. I started ground up because one thing that I'm really keen is I need a tubeless set of tires. Got a tubeless set of wheels from Dismotech in Bangalore. Some of the nicest rubbers that I can think of. My colors are my choice. Colors are subjective. So you see one side we have the blue of the Nile. Lovely colors of blue. On the other side, I have the sunset by the Sahara. Beautiful interpretation of orange. A toolbox that's permanently fixed so that I don't have to think about packing a, a toolkit whenever I take my machine out for travels. The idea is that when I take a machine, the machine is compatible to a tarmac, to a little of the off-road and completely to no roads. And that's exactly what this week has been. Thanks to some wonderful folks who uh, extended the hospitality of staying with them. And shooting my madness. There was a time when, uh, during my ride in the Americas, I met across uh, a fellow adventurer in Peru. And uh, when he had reached out to me, saying that he would love to uh, travel our country, I had suggested, uh, why don't you come down? Let me speak to the kind folks at Classic Legends and see if I can arrange an ESD for you. That was done. And uh, we spent some really quality time exploring the lesser known trails of uh, the Scotland of India. I mean, of course, he had his uh, apprehensions about who being called the Scotland of India because he's a British. And it was nice to see a fellow adventurer whom we had met back in Peru 2019 come down to India riding a ASD adventure and exploring our own backyard.
And today here I am in Polachi, encapsulating the week-long journey after being a part of this wondrous group of ESD and Java owners. Some of them who have had the machines since it was introduced into this country to people who have recently bought their new machines. So in Polachi, uh, staying with uh, the Shakti River Resort, it's been a congregation of the ESD and Java owners from uh, uh, the state of uh, Karnataka, uh, Tamil Nadu and Kerala, over 120 machines that proudly rode in and spent some quality time engaging with uh, you know, people from other states exchanging stories of whatever travels that they've done, giving themselves an opportunity to indulge in, uh, in stories and plans for uh, the future of what rights that they can be doing. So here I am sitting amidst uh, the folks sharing my stories of my travels and giving my ESD the limelight of the, the subtle modifications that I have done to bring in absolute peace in my travels. See you on the next episode. Thank you.